If you like movies, check out my movie review channel. Every single movie title you see on the screen, I have a video about coming out within the next two weeks. I'm uploading a video every day for two weeks, so uh, definitely make sure you're subscribed there. The link is in the description below. I got some other stuff on there too, some like breakdowns of certain scenes I like and things like that, so check it out. How about the... Eagles running backs. I think this is an interesting conversation to talk about as, you know, I already made a video kind of talking about how the Chiefs were able to slow down this Eagles running game that we thought would be dominant heading into the season. And a lot of people said, you know, okay, sure, uh, that is true. But what about this, just the running backs themselves? I felt like there was a lot of times where the running backs could have maybe gotten more yards and got tackled, you know, immediately once they got touched. Uh, is that true or was that just kind of a narrative? Well, let's talk about it. Let's start off with this play where you see where Miles Sanders on this one is going to try and run. However, right when this play begins, Kansas City doing a good job at clogging up the potential running lanes. Well, it feels like there's not a chief player that's about to tackle him. Uh, there's a couple of Eagles players who haven't gotten far enough away that I don't really know if Sanders can squeeze through there. So he's going to look elsewhere. That's what he does. As you see, he bounces things to the outside and successfully gets Gets to the outside until he's in this position. There are several Kansas City players who are in position to tackle him, but the one who's closest in position is nickel corner Trent McDuffie, who, uh, you know, I have a whole video made about him as well. I'm not sure if that's out yet, but if it's not, it will be shortly uh, in the game that he had. He's a good tackling corner. Don't let the fact that, oh, nickel corner, he can come in and make plays. So don't let that fool you. But still, as a running back, you want to be able to win these matchups, at least somewhat consistently. And I think it's fair to say a lot of times in this game, the Eagles running backs kind of got tackled right when they were touched. Look, as you see, not only was Sanders tackled, he lost the football. Luckily, it went out of bounds. Luckily for him, it went out of bounds. But still, that's kind of a good example of getting just stood up right away. And this is something that would happen. But let's go over here. And I think the better question to ask maybe is, do you blame the Eagles for that. Do you blame the Eagles running backs for that, I should say? Or is this just situations where I don't know what halfback does have success in that situation? I think it's reasonable to, uh, well, I mean, let's just get into it. So right here, it's going to be Willie Gay working on Jason Kelsey. You expect Jason Kelsey to win this matchup. One-on-one -on -one against a linebacker. Admittedly, a very good linebacker. Willie Gay is very athletic, and he's going to show it off here. Watch as you see Willie Gay is able to make a move on Jason Kelsey. Really a great move to get by him. And now he's in position to tackle Miles Sanders. But again, what have we talked about? Hey, can a running back potentially win uh, a matchup, break a tackle? Should he have been able to here? Well, I mean, let's look at it. I mean, I don't know how you're going to break that tackle. I don't know how you're going to find a way to make that happen. Sure, you don't love to just get completely stood up the second there is a tackle, but at the same time, that was a really good play by Willie Gay. He wasn't expecting a guy to be right there. You know, he maybe didn't fully have the shoulder lowered the way he wanted to, uh, and it was a good tackle by Willie Gay, and there was help that came in right after the tackle started to happen. So at the end of the day, some of these I don't blame, but some of these, again, it's kind of one of those like, okay, maybe I don't blame you, but also... You're trying to win a Super Bowl here. You got to at least make some of these. Like this one's another one where it's kind of good on good. It's once again going to be Miles Sanders on this play. I'll get to the other running backs in just a second. Uh, and it's Nick Bolton. He's the one who you're going to want to watch. Where you see the concept itself. The Eagles are kind of trying to sell as though they're going to run a quarterback sneak. But instead, they're doing something a little different. They're going to give the ball to uh, Miles Sanders and have him go towards the outside. Uh, this is a smart play. You would expect that the Chiefs would really sell out for uh, something like this, but at the same time, uh, Nick Bolton, very smart player, is not going to do that here. Watch as Nick Bolton reads the play so effectively, and he's going to get over, and he is in position to make a tackle on uh, on Miles Sanders right here. He's in position, but again, he's lowering the shoulder and just trying to deliver a hit towards Sanders to see if he can stop him. Keep in mind, the first down on this play, on this third down and two, is at the 20-yard line. So all you have to do is take a hit and fall forward, and you could have the first down. That's what you're trying to do here. However, Bolton stops him with the hit. You also had another player, I believe that was Leo Chennault, uh, who was able to grab him enough to uh, bring him down. So good stuff from those two linebackers. Again, it's tough competition, but you know, I think it's also fair to say, I, I get both perspectives. I really do. I get the people that are saying, well, it's the Super Bowl. You got to find ways to make plays. You're supposed to be a good player. You know, we spent a good amount of draft capital on you. You're, you know, we're, you're someone we like 
we want you to be able to break some of those tackles or at least fall forward and pick up a first down or you know make a move or something like that get more yards than the offensive line is giving you that didn't really happen with any of these halfbacks they weren't really getting more yards than the offensive line gave them like something like this is another example where again I'm not saying the offensive line was clearing up these giant holes and the halfbacks weren't succeeding. It was usually when there weren't giant holes getting cleared up. You see the blocking concept, so kind of blocking towards the right here. Hertz is going to take the snap and give the ball to Kenneth Gainwell, who doesn't love what he sees towards the right. Could he have kept going in that direction? Maybe, I don't know, but he decides not to. He decides to cut things back, and you do see a potential window that he could that could work, right? And again, this is what you want to see out of a halfback is someone who's going to find ways to get yards. I kind of would have liked him to continue, continue running towards the right. Feels like there is some uh, yards to gain there. But instead, he goes towards the left and, once again, gets tackled immediately. Leo Chanel uh, sniffed that out very well. Uh, you know, Sneed was also there, Legeria Sneed. So good stuff by those two guys. But at the same time, is that a mistake from Gainwell? You could certainly argue it. I think it's fair to say there were probably more yards on the table than Gainwell was able to end up with. And that is an aspect of, again... I feel like when I talk about the running game, I'm always focused on the offensive line as that tends to matter the most, but there is an aspect of running backs do still have some value and uh, was not a great play there. Like this one's another uh, Kenneth Gainwell play. You're going to, again, see the blocking concept. It's going to be a block towards the offense's right, which is going to be towards the left side of the screen. So, okay. What do you do in this situation? Well, you can't block everybody, right? You don't have enough guys unless it's going to be Jalen Hurts running with the football or if Jalen Hurts is blocking, which is not happening on this play. So, okay, someone's unblocked. Who are they leaving unblocked? It's going to be Leo Chanel, the rookie linebacker who is lined up furthest towards the right side of the screen. As I said, it's a run towards the left side of the screen, so makes sense. This is something you do pretty frequently, but you're going to see a couple of things here. First, you're going to see just a great read and a great play from Chanel. Watch Chanel just be able to run very far in. He makes a great read on it, takes a great angle, and is in position to make a tackle. This is such a tough tackle to break. I can't blame him for not. And as you see, he does not break the tackle really. It, you know, did what he could, but did not really gain many yards from it. And I think my main takeaway from watching this is I watch this tape and I'm like, yeah, th this is what most running backs do in this situation. I don't think that even like good running backs are getting out of these tackles. I think that that's just a tough situation. Sure, Derrick Henry is getting out of those tackles, but they don't have a Derrick Henry. They don't have a Saquon Barkley. These are the guys who they have, which are good running backs, but not stars. I never felt like these were star running backs. They were kind of players who could make plays and were capable of making plays. And that's kind of all I viewed it as. So I'm not going to sit here and say, well, how weren't they able to get more going here? Because they weren't really able to do this all season long. They did a good job of in open space, getting the yards that were there and maybe being able to make a move here or there to get a little bit more. But these are not superstar halfbacks, in my opinion. It's not surprising to me that when the Chiefs really good linebackers got themselves in position to make tackles, the Eagles weren't able to break them. To me, I do say that this is credit Chiefs. I know that's not as fun. What's more fun is to say, oh, you know, this guy screwed up. This guy is dumb. Listen, I see the analytics on my YouTube videos, right? Saying, uh, you know, player X was bad gets me more clicks than saying player X was uh, okay. But in this situation, I think the running backs of the Eagles were okay. I don't think that they were a mess necessarily uh, the way some people might uh, make it out to be. I don't really put the, the lack of of being able to run the ball on them. I think they did fine in this one. Although, again, you would like to see them maybe uh, break a tackle or two throughout the game. I think that's reasonable. So it wasn't a great performance for sure, but I don't know if it's really their fault. I think it was a combination of offensive line didn't play as good as you expect them to, and also the linebackers for Kansas City were just incredible in this one. That's the main takeaway I had. But yeah, that's what I think about all of this. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What were your thoughts on the Eagles running backs? Always love hearing from y'all, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.